On April 24, 2021, US President Joe Biden officially recognized the Armenian Genocide. The White House statement stated the following, Each year on this day, we remember the lives of all those who died in the Ottoman-era Armenian Genocide. Beginning on April 24, 1915, with the arrest of Armenian intellectuals and community leaders in Constantinople by Ottoman authorities, one and a half million Armenians were deported, massacred, or march to their deaths in a campaign of extermination. The American people honor all those Armenians who perished in the genocide that began 106 years ago today. Reactions poured in from across the world. Samantha Power, former US ambassador to the UN and nominated head of US aid, had the following to say. For decades, American leaders did not acknowledge this fact due to pressure from Turkey until today. Thank you, POTUS, for your historic decision. No matter how long it takes, we can never give up on the pursuit of the truth. She also highlighted the work the Aurora Humanitarian Initiative does in this regard. What Aurora is, is a kind of plea for decency, a plea for solidarity, a plea for a conception of shared humanity. The Aurora Humanitarian Initiative released a statement shortly after the announcement saying that on behalf of the supporters of the Aurora Humanitarian Initiative, we express our gratitude to the US President for commemorating the Armenian Genocide and calling that atrocity by its true name, Genocide. Back in 2015, on the occasion of the centennial of the Genocide, many Armenians sought to find motivation in their collective tragic experience, resulting in the launch of the Aurora Humanitarian Initiative. It was named after a famous survivor of the Genocide, Aurora Mardiganyan, who had fled to the US and dedicated her life to raising awareness of this tragedy. As more and more people and leaders recognize the Armenian Genocide, we urge everyone to join our growing humanitarian movement and to give a second chance to those persecuted today. On the occasion of Armenian Genocide Remembrance Day, Aurora co-founder Ruben Vartanyan, chair of the Aurora Prize Selection Committee, Lord Aradarzi, were both in Yerevan and joined online by Aurora co-founder Nubar Afeyan and Marine Ales, the chair of the Creative Council of the Aurora Humanitarian Initiative, as well as Radik Martirosyan, the president of the Academy of Science of Armenia, and Vahan Dergevondian, the director of Madenadaran. Events took place commemorating the genocide in Madenadaran, Yerevan's manuscript museum, where the participants furthermore paid tribute to Armenian-American academic Carnegie Corporation President and co-founder of the Aurora Prize for Awakening Humanity, Vartan Gregorian. Vartan was not simply an addition of things, but he was a multiplication of things. If you take wisdom, compassion, curiosity and devotion, and you multiply them together, you get Vartan Gregorian. He had big plans for when he would come next to Armenia. The last time we spoke to him, he said, two days before his death, Dear Ruben, at the end of the year, I will get my pension and I will move to Armenia. Together we will make the school in Dilijan the best school in the world. We've lost, and the world has lost, a legend. Armenia and Armenians, everyone, have lost one of the greatest leaders. And I say this without any hesitation, I have met the great and the good, Bartan was different. A solemn ceremony then took place, wherein the inscriptions of the names of the 2021 Aurora Humanitarians were inscribed in the Chronicles of Aurora, followed by the announcement of their names. On April 25th, more events took place. A memorial prayer service took place at St. Gaianes Church in the Armenian city of Ejmiadzin. In Yerevan's Gomitas Museum, an evening remembrance service took place. And in May, a special event will be held featuring the selection committee members and all the Aurora laureates hailing from across the globe. On top of this, the co-founders were steadfast to mention that in memory of Vartan Gregorian's legacy and Aurora's mission, more and larger events will take place throughout the year. The event that took place at Madenadaran culminated in a moving performance by Yo-Yo Ma, a distinguished cellist who performed Krunk by Gomitas. Ma dedicated his performance to Vartan Gregorian's memory and all the work that is being done by Aurora. Because right here, Armenians survived. So we have remembered our genocide, but we think of humanity. We are unique, but we think of universals. 
because we are Armenians. After all, Noah's Ark came up from Mount Ararat right here. So the three enduring elements of Armenia, Noah's Ark, Mount Ararat, are but another round repository of Armenian knowledge. And most importantly also, of course, our youth and others we brought up to respect, not to be shamed, not to destroy on the altar of ultranationalism, people that dehumanize creatures for the glory of whatever purpose they mention.